today I'd like to talk about emotions and the role they play in our trading. Clearly emotions are very much a part of who we are and the decisions that we make throughout our life. And of course trading is all about decision making. It's only natural that the emotions within us form a, you know, a normal part of the decision making process we have when we are trading. Unfortunately, for those who have perhaps traded for some time and have some experience and have had some emotional issues and challenges and psychological challenges with their trading, we quickly realize that any emotions that we have in our trading are probably don't serve us well. Now, clearly we're not, uh, we're not dead, we're very much alive, but what we need to try and avoid with our emotions is to be what I refer to as an emo emotional roller coaster, from uh, incredible happiness or deliriously happy and excitement, all the way down to depressed and sad, and then just back up uh, as quickly and then back down again. We, we really need to avoid that at all costs uh, when we are trading. But of course, we're not uh, dead, so we're not gonna have a flat line, but we do need to be quite measured and tempered and, and reasonably stable with our emotions when we do trade, recognizing the fact that we can't turn emotions off. They're very much a part of who we are, and of course, we are making decisions when, uh, when we're trading. The thing about uh, emotions and with trading, I mean, have a think about it for a second. What are we putting at risk? What are we dealing with when we are trading? We're dealing with our money. And I don't think there's uh, other th many other things in the world, in our lives, that are as powerful for us with our emotions than money. Perhaps personal relationships, you could put forward an argument for that, but um, aside from money, I don't know of anything else which, is, which can grab at our emotions and yank at us and, uh, and be so powerful within us um, as in fact money. So here we are undertaking an endeavor where money is at risk and we face the possibility of losing that money. There's obviously really no doubt then why emotions and, and the issues we face with emotions are such a big deal when we are trading. Look, I think the real key to, to trading and dealing with our emotions is two things. Don't get upset and don't take anything personally. The thing with taking things personally, the market, whatever market you're trading, the reality is the market doesn't even know you exist. In fact, it couldn't care less about you. So any decisions or any actions that occur against you which result in you losing money, you really have no basis or grounds to take that personally. The market doesn't even know who you are or in the fact you exist. So you really have no grounds to take anything personally. The other thing with getting upset, unfortunately it's very much a natural human trait. Getting upset only serves to cloud our judgment. And of course, when we're making so many decisions, we need our judgment to be quite clear, crystal clear, quite level-headed, so we can go through a decision-making process and make the decisions that we need to do. And of course, in trading, that's of course what we're doing on a regular basis. So certainly getting upset and taking things personally are very much a negative influence on us, and we need to, at all costs, uh, avoid those. You know, many, many years ago, I was running a, a workshop um, for a particular a group of people, and one of the questions I posed to them was right on this topic. How do we overcome the emotions? How do we overcome those issues when we're trading? So amongst their groups, small groups, they broke up and, and had their discussions. One of the groups really uh, stuck out, uh, stood out, and you know, I, I still recall this particular exercise and, and this group and what their response was. The spokesperson for that group, the woman, she stood up, she would have been uh, into her 50s, she said, this is easy. I've been running my own business for around 30 years. I am very comfortable and used to making decisions. And one thing I know about running a business is you'll make some decisions which work out really, really well, but you'll also make decisions that don't work out so well. But at the end of the day, it's all part of running a business. You're gonna make some good decisions and bad decisions. And the longer you dwell and worry about the bad decisions you make, um, the worse off you'll be. So her response was a very mature, you know, seasoned campaigner, sort of experienced at making decisions, and, and her, her advice was so simple, and that was, it's just part of running a business. That's just what trading is all about. I've also heard other people refer to the fact of, oh, just forget about the money. The reality is, of course, that's hard to do because uh, we're in this for the money. It's very much a focus of ours and why we're trading in the first place is to make the money. It's difficult to then just completely forget about it. 
the, the more we can forget about it and just deal with the numbers and the process and the methodology, certainly the better off we'll be. Look, for me, um, emotions and how I deal with the emotions, ch the emotional challenges that we face, and I certainly will focus here on uh, losing trades. I, I think th the fact is, many years ago when I lost a lot of money, when the NASDAQ crashed, it really hit home hard that losing trades and losing money was very much a reality of trading. And I think the quicker, the, the sooner we can accept that reality, where I think we're better armed and more capable of dealing with things when they don't go our way. So we tend to have a few losing trades in a row, we really just don't get upset about it because we've been through it before, we accept the fact that that's just the way it happens and that's a reality of trading. Now how can we, you know, how can we as a group and how can you uh, as a person, how can you better equip yourself with dealing with the realities and the emotions, you know, the emotional challenges we face? I think one of the things that I found quite useful, as soon as I've entered a trade, any expectations I had for that trade, I try to forget about completely. So I wanna go long on something, I then completely forget about the expectation that I want it to go long and anticipating for the price to go up. I almost adopt a neutral, uh, neutral stance, a measured, could go either way sort of stance where I really don't care. Now that's taken me a long time to practice that and get comfortable with doing that but I often find then, if it doesn't work out the way I wanted it to, it didn't really matter because I had a neutral, uh, almost bipartisan, no expectation, no anticipation of any price movement uh, approach to that particular trade. And I think that, that certainly uh, has helped me in the past. Another reality which certainly helps me is the fact that, and I've seen this so many times, in the market, anything can happen. Absolutely anything can happen. And if you expect something can't happen, guess what, it probably will happen. So it's really that preparing for the unexpected. And certainly my military training helped me with that when we were constantly confronted with the unexpected. And the, the real lesson for us was just the quicker, the sooner you were able to deal with that reality, that, that new reality, that uh, new occurrence, the better off you were able to do and, and to move forward. And certainly in the market, anything can happen. So the better you prepare yourself for that reality, when things don't go well and move against you, I think you're better equipped and better armed to deal with that uh, deal with that reality. And I think what we really need to work towards is accepting some home truths about the market. And that is, you know, the market doesn't care who you are, couldn't care less, doesn't even know you exist, anything can happen, uh, you really have little control over the market. They're the realities of trading. Uh, when you think about those realities, I think it's easy to accept them and they become part of our, our decision-making process and our beliefs and, and what we believe in with the market. And when those things happen in the market, we accept it. We've already accepted it because we've built ourselves up to the point where, hey, I know anything can happen and I know my money's at risk and I know I'm gonna have losing trades and I know the market couldn't care less about me, therefore I'm not gonna take it personally. So it's really a matter of equipping ourselves and preparing ourselves for the realities of trading. When we do have a losing trade, remember, there's over six billion people on the face of this earth and not one person knows what's gonna happen in the market in the future, not one of those six billion. So how can you possibly expect yourself to know? You can't, it's just an unrealistic expectation. Remember, anything can happen and you can't expect yourself to know what's gonna happen in the future in the market because no one else actually does know. Treat losing trades as just an expense. It's just, uh, you know, you've gotta get into trades to present yourself the opportunity or the possibility of making money. And should you have a losing trade, well, that's just the cost of putting yourself in that position of making money. Well, that's all been very uh, losing money-ish and, and negative. Let's talk about making profits. Are there emotions associated with making money in the market? I think there are, and we like to think they're quite positive emotions. I've been a big believer that if you have a great trade, a real killer winning trade, reward yourself for it. We go through so much emotional strain and pressure we put on ourselves, and it really can be quite frustrating at times. If you have a trade which works out incredibly well, please reward yourself for it. Whatever it may be, out to dinner with the family, away on a holiday, whatever, I think what it does is reinforce the positive thing that you did in that trade to make that money. It reinforces why we're going through this journey um, and the expectations we have to make money. 
I think it's a great way of, of just reinforcing that if you do the right things and follow your methodology and are disciplined and all those other things, good things will eventually happen. Well, emotions. I think, um, you know, only when you start trading and really put your money in the market can we fully appreciate the emotional challenges that we face as traders. And, uh, you know, that will come with time. But remember, just prepare yourself for the realities of trading. Accept them as just truths. That's the way the market is. The sooner you're able to accept those realities, I think the better off you'll be in dealing when things uh, don't go your way in the market. Remember, we're in this together. Please feel free to post your comments on the emotional issues of, and the challenges we face as traders. How do you deal with emotional issues and when you lose money? Probably more importantly, when you lose money, how do you deal with that? Are you okay with that? How have you gone and, and got to that point where you are okay with it? Please post your comments and uh, we'll see what people have to say. I'll talk to you soon.